Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to answer one of the questions that came up often on if you actually need Elementor Pro to work with a 10 web builder. To answer that question, let's jump straight into the video and get started. Coming straight to the 10 web website and come over here to the AI builder, there is a section called the premium widgets. When we click over there, the 10 web team has been building and is still building widgets for their Elementor best website builder. And some of the widgets are the reviews, carousel, flipbox, countdown, call to action, login, and a lot more. And they also have premium plugins whose widgets are actually echoed into the Elementor canvas or the widgets area. And these include the gallery widget, slider form, Google Maps, Event Calendar, Instagram Feed, and Facebook Feed. And finally, they also have the site building widgets, which include the site title, the site logo, post title, post archive, post content, and a lot more. Now, there is one thing you're noticing here that these widgets are actually found in the Elementor Pro version. And this means that you can actually use these widgets in your website to build up your website sections using the 10 web builder which is actually based on Elementor. For example, if we head back straight here to our Elementor website, I have a template that I imported from the 10 web templates library and over right here you see that I have a header template. When I scroll down below here you see that I have a footer template or a footer section. But how were these footer sections built? Were they built using Elementor Pro or the 10 web builder? To check out that, let's head straight to our dashboard and we are going to come over here to the plugins area and there is nothing like Elementor Pro we only have the Elementor free version. Now how was the 10 web team able to build up headers and footers and the answer actually is that their 10 web builder actually enables you to create your own headers and your own footers and not only that but also templates for your archive pages, uh, for your 404 pages, your search pages and a lot more. For example, when you come over here to templates and come straight to 10 web templates, you realize that we have the header section, the footer section, the single section, and the archive section. So under the header section, you can create different headers for your website without Elementor Pro, but using the 10 web builder. And at the same time, you can assign conditions for your created headers, even footers. If we check out on the footer section, we have a footer section on and has one condition. If we say edit this with Elementor, obviously it is going to open up in the Elementor editor, but you can make changes to it using the 10 web website builder. Here comes our footer. And if you were to come over here to the settings area, the status of the footer is published. That means that it is visible on our website. When I take you to this template that I imported, the footer is showing up here. Now, in the case you want to create your own header or footer or whatever section, simply exit back to the dashboard, go under templates, come over to the 10 web templates, and you can simply just say add a new or import from templates. So when I say import from templates, I can import an already created footer or header into my website and I can start using that. Or I can start creating it from scratch by saying add a new header and I can give it a name and I say demo one and we are ready to start creating our own header using the 10 web builder without Elementor Pro. I can as well add conditions to my created header by coming over here to advanced, add a condition and then you can say include this header to appear on the entire site or only on singular pages or on archive pages. And at the same time you can as well assign this header to appear on certain archive pages or singular pages on your website, just like Elementor Pro could do for you. Now we've answered the big question on if you can actually create your custom templates or your header templates sections that you would have done in Elementor Pro and now you can do them using only the free version of Elementor and your subscription from the 10 web builder. Now let's go and look into the widgets section. I already have a page opened up in Elementor on my website that I have the 10 web website builder installed. Then I have also another website here that doesn't have the 10 web website builder, I only have Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now let's run through the widgets head to head 
those that are coming from the 10 web builder and those that are actually coming in Elementor and Elementor Pro. Now, when you look into the basic widgets, these are the same widgets that are coming in the free version of Elementor, just like you see over here and also right over here. When you scroll a little bit down, we have the Pro widgets that are coming in Elementor Pro. Now, when we scroll on the other hand for the 10 web builder, we don't have those Pro widgets appearing, just like the post widgets, folio, gallery, login, price table, the flip box, and all that stuff. However, when I collapse this, we now have the general widgets that actually come in the free version of Elementor. Just the same widgets, image box, icon box, image box, icon box, star rating, image carousel, and all those widgets down below here, including the latest one that came in one of the previous updates from Elementor, which is the text path widget. I'm going to collapse this for now, and I also come here and I collapse this. We have now so far identified one thing, and the one thing is that we don't have Elementor Pro widgets in our 10 web website builder. But the question is, when you scroll down below here on our website that is having a 10 web website builder installed, you realize that we have the 10 web plugins. The 10 web plugins are actually plugins that 10 web develops. And the good thing is that you can use those widgets in your website that is running on that 10 web builder. And some of these uh, widgets that come from the 10 web plugins include the form widget, gallery widget, slider widget, Instagram feed, and all these. The other question is that can you use widgets from third-party plugins or add-ons for Elementor? Answer is yes. For example, here I have widgets that are coming from the premium add-ons for Elementor and I can simply use them on my Elementor website that is running the 10 web builder. Then lastly, there is the premium widgets from the 10 web builder. These are widgets that are kind of the alternative to the Elementor Pro widgets that are not added in the 10 web website builder. And these include the pricing table. Now, when I come back here to the Pro section, you're going to realize that some of these widgets are also added over here. But these are customly developed widgets by the 10 web. They're not simply grabbing widgets from Elementor Pro and adding them onto their web builder but they're actually developing them and adding them into their web builder. For example, when you look at the countdown widget, this is the countdown widget from Elementor Pro, and this is the countdown widget from the premium widgets by 10Web. The same applies like for the navigation menu, navigation menu, the login, we have a login widget from 10Web, and a number of them. But I have to mention that not all Pro widgets from Elementor are also available in the 10Web builder. Then the other big question is, how about WooCommerce widgets? Yes, 10Web has also been working hard to make sure that they add WooCommerce-based widgets, and some of them are over right here. In a nutshell, I think it's now clear for you that if you get the 10Web subscription, you will not have Elementor Pro widgets, and as well, you will not have the same headers or the footers from Elementor, nor even the Elementor Pro templates. But 10Web is working so hard to add templates into their templates library to develop more premium widgets into their premium uh, widgets section and doing a lot more to actually make website building process a lot way easier. In case you have any other questions, let me know down in the comment box below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that actually helps me out. Have a good time and uh, goodbye.